in one of the more least shocking videos I've uploaded, Mike Pence, former vice president under President Donald Trump, has now publicly turned on Donald Trump and publicly will not support his run for 2024 president of the United States. We're going to listen to his comments right here, and then we're going to talk about it. Uh, it's about three minutes long, everything we need to listen to, so here we go. First, I have to ask you, of course, about the elephant in the room, which is... Your former boss, Donald Trump, just announced that he's running for president. Will Heard you, that. Will, will, you, will you support him? Well, it's great to be here at CNN, Jake. Thank you. It really is. Thank you for uh, bringing together so many great Americans, including I heard some people from my home state of A Indiana lot of them. A lot of them. Here Hoosiers today. in the house. And, uh, and let, me just, let me just say that, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a great honor for me to be a part of the Trump-Pence administration. I mean, in four short years, we rebuilt our military, we revived our economy, we unleashed American energy, we appointed conservatives to our courts at every level. Uh, but in, in the end, our administration did not end well. Uh, and I write about that in my book. But as I've traveled across that the country over the last year and a half, one thing I've heard over and over again, whether it's at the grocery store in Indiana or traveling around the country, is people want us to get back to the policies of the Trump-Pence administration. They want to see America strong and prosperous and advancing the policies that we advanced that left America more secure and uh, seven million American jobs created. Um, but the other thing that I've heard consistently is that uh, the American people are looking for new leadership, leadership that will unite our country around our highest ideals, leadership that will reflect the civility and uh, and respect that most Americans have for one another. You know, once you get out of politics, um, you learn pretty quickly that while our politics is very divided, uh, the American people actually get along pretty well every day uh, and, and treat each other with kindness and with decency and with respect. And, and so uh, I think in the days ahead, uh, whatever role I and my family play in the Republican Party, whether it's as a candidate or simply a part of the cause, I, I think we'll have better choices. Better choices. Than so, my old running mate. I, I think America longs to go back to the policies that were working for the American people. But I think it's time for new leadership in this country that will bring us together around our highest ideal. So to recap, uh, everything that the Trump-Pence administration did, led by Donald Trump, by the way, led and spearheaded by Donald Trump, everything that they did was great and wonderful, and everyone that he talks to would like to see a return to those policies. But they don't want mean words. They don't want mean man. They don't want mean tweets, according to Mike Pence. So we need new leadership. Okay, Mike Pence, continuing. Would that be you? I'll keep you posted. You'll keep me posted. <laughs> All right. Just, just to put a button on this, if Donald Trump were to run and win the nomination, would you support him as the nominee? Well, let me say uh, there... There may be somebody else in that contest I'd prefer more, Jack. Mm -hmm. Anyone um, in mind? <laughs> well, I, but, you know, I honestly believe we're going to have better choices. Literally everywhere I've gone across the country, I've heard again and again that the American people look at the policies of the Biden and Harris administration that have ignited the worst inflation in 40 years, that have caused gasoline prices to go through the roof, have uh, uh, literally literally weakened America at home and abroad every single day. They want to get back to the policies. But, and, and maybe it's because of my, my uh, Hoosier and Midwestern upbringing, um, they often say to me that we, we want to get back uh, to uh, uh, treating one another in public life the way the American people treat one another every day. And that's with, with respect for all viewpoints in this country. And, and I have every confidence that we'll produce a standard bearer for our party, whoever he or she may be, that'll, that'll lead us there and lead us to victory in 2024. Well, your, your, your talk of civility leads us perfect. So I cannot wait for the debates. <laughs> I can't wait for all of that to happen. Because while it seems obvious that, that Trump has the nomination locked up, which he does, there's going to be people that are going to try to attach themselves to this. And it's going to be phenomenal to watch it all play out. Now, we remember the primaries and debates and everything from you know 2015 going into the 2016 election, all that. It, it, it was 
crazy. It was crazy. And this is going to be probably just as crazy, if not even crazier. I don't know if DeSantis is going to get involved in that. That's the only legitimate challenger to Trump. But obviously, you know, Mike Pence is probably going to be in there. You're going to have a few other names that are going to be in there. It's going to be crazy to watch it all play out. And I, for one, cannot wait. But Mike Pence uh, just officially, you know, trashing Trump and uh, throwing him under the bus. Not really surprising at all. But I'm glad he did it because I'm glad to know where Mike Pence officially stands now. So you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will continue to support Donald J. Trump, the 45th president of uh, the United States and the greatest president of my lifetime. Can't wait to see how this all plays out. Politics is just heating up. It's going to get pretty damn crazy.